Have you always had this urge that you wanted to build a workshop cabinet, but you never knew how? Well, you've come to the right YouTube video. Happy New Year and uh, thanks to all the new subscribers, I really appreciate it. Uh, sorry that there hasn't been any updates on lately. I was changing the tires on my bike and I hurt my back and then my depression st struck me. So and then Christmas and New Year came in, family and all that. So I've been either depressed or broken or busy. But uh, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a quick video here about something that maybe you can build yourself or, or find useful or maybe just entertaining. I have welders in the garage and saws and stuff like that. When it comes to metalworking, one thing that I don't like doing in the garage is grinding. The metal dust is really horrible. It gets in all the electronics and all it gets on all surfaces. When you wipe it off it's like an abrasive so not nice to have that in there. So I thought to myself what if I store my grinders in the shed and I then need to take them out and I need to take a little workbench out or something so I can grind on that and I need power and all that stuff. So what if I make a stand to put my three grinders on? I can easily lift the stand out and work on it that way so I don't have to connect all of them. And I thought, well, I still need to lift out the, the workbench. So the next step was that if I made a permanent stand on the outside and enclosed it in a little cabinet, then I could simply just open up the cabinet get my grinder, get grinding. And then I could put down a little table there too so I could didn't have to lift out a workbench. Usually what I'm grinding isn't that big so just a small little foldable table would have sufficed. Okay, but that was quite a good idea. But uh, one thing tends to lead to the other and then I thought what if I want to use it as a little bit of a storage too because I don't have much storage and I was collecting quite a lot of oil and brake fluid and coolant and things like that. Also uh, nails and screws and scrapers and all sorts of little things that I only need occasionally. And they don't need to be stored warm and, and dry. Oh, dry, yes, but not warm. So I thought, what about my chop saw and how about a table saw for woodworking because woodworking can be quite messy in the garage too not as bad as grinding with an angle grinder but yeah so I came up with something that is a work cabinet shop workshop cabinet something like that. Obviously what I also wanted was uh, something uh, to prevent uh, me getting rained on. Uh, rain is something that does happen in England so having a bit of a shelter would be good. So let me show you around. This is what it looks like with the, uh, what should I call it, the roof or the lid folded up. That there is my workbench. That's my chop shop saw. That's my table saw. 
There's some oil and sundries. There's some grinders and stuff like that. Up there is a shelf with screws and sanding equipment and things like that. There's plenty of sockets. There's one angle grinder. There's another, there's another two. So I can easily access them. There's two big LED lights on the top that lights the work surface up. There's also LED strip lights in the in the lid. Under the workbench, there's some tools, paint, tire balancing, and uh, changing kit. The reason that there are there's three levels, there's that level, that level, and that level, is so that I can have one level for the work surfaces. That means basically that the table saw is at the same level as the chop saw, which is at the same level as the work surface. There's a power connection coming from the inside and I can disconnect the power on the inside so that the whole box is just a box. So you can't use the power tools in the middle of the night unless you are if unless you have access to the inside. The lid is held up by this uh, foldable bracket and a little bit of a homemade welding thing there welds it up. The whole cabinet is supported on the wall with uh, French cleats, three of them. However, I did make some little legs just to give the, uh, the wall a little bit of a break. Another benefit is, should we move, all I have to do is make some sort of trolley for it and then I can wheel it into a moving van and take it with me without basically touching anything in the actual cabinet. So that's about it. That's my workshop cabinet thingy. And it's served me well for several years. Uh, you, if you want to make one, obviously you don't have to make it this ridiculously big. However, uh, it is very practical. So uh, if you are lacking space on the inside, maybe you can put it on the outside. Thanks for watching. talk about workshop cabinets what I bet you've always wanted to know about workshop cabinets you haven't just me then eh? Uh.